My peers bombard me with questions as to where I'm really from. I feel like a stepchild to my motherland. Because when they see one Afghani immigrant, they see two resemblances to the latest bombing suspects and see the three nearest exits just in case I'm carrying C4. Many youth migrants struggle through a period in their countries of destination. I am from Italy. The stories of international youth migrants told through poetry, song, and dance. And by all accounts, a very unique way to introduce the 2013 United Nations World Youth Report, Youth and Migration. Well, the stories themselves are important, but I think telling them through art um, helps elevate it and bring it to an audience in a way where people can relate a little bit more to the stories through the heart, through the soul, not always just through the mind. And as a writer, uh, being able to take the context from the report and form my own opinion and uh, try to express that in a poetic way, as we try to do, um, it's very difficult but very, very rewarding. It's a great idea to have the youth involved because, you know, we're a part of this community as well and we have have some things to say so we're glad that finally our opinion is being heard. Recounting the situation of over 232 million migrants, 30 percent of whom are young people, through stories and histories, discussions and consultations, the UN report spotlights the challenges facing young migrants as they experience discrimination, incrimination, and identity struggles. Well, I am a migrant myself. I came from the Dominican Republic when I was around five. Uh, had a couple family members that were actually here undocumented and um, saw how hard it was for them to live in the shadows and for them to have that pressure of not feeling like they belong somewhere. So it's really important for me to tell their story. It's important to me uh, that we are all treated as global citizens, that we are um, as, as much as possible exposed to culturally affirming spaces, to spaces where we know that our full identities are welcome. Fine. Uh, I just, I just Today's performers noted the transformational role that art can play in helping communicate the stories of young migrants. Art has this ability to build community and, art has, and we as young people can relate to our peers. So when other peers hear art, they want to listen to us. It's imperative that um, we show up, we tell these stories, we give a voice to these people who are often silenced under this, um, this, this power structure and buried. Um, so basically, giving a voice to those who you, uh, you don't hear from, but you should more. You know, in history, we've seen how much power art has to change people's minds, to go beyond just, you know, the politics and the policies. Um, art has a way of, you know, traveling through our hearts, through our minds, through our souls, and really connecting people with each other. Foot-long buffalo chicken on whole wheat. You're welcome. With a view for a better world and a message of hope for other migrants, today's youth performers are charting a new path for the global community and helping migrants realize their rights and dignity. We need support, we need help, we need policy that it's pro-immigrant, that's um, immigrant friendly, that will help undocumented immigrants live no longer in the fear of being in the shadows. We, we choose pluralism. We allow ourselves to, within our differences, to find a sense, uh, a centeredness, uh, where we're all contributing to that from these different spaces, not to deny those differences at all, but to value them, to celebrate them. For South South News, this is Brendan Pastor at the United Nations.